Hello everyone. In today's class, we learn how to solve an equation. So first, let's try to understand what an equation is. Equation is basically a mathematical statement of equality. It is a mathematical statement of equality. That means it has two sides and the value of both sides is equal. Let's say 4x plus 1 is equal to 6. This is a mathematical statement. It has two sides. This is the left side and this is the right side. And the value of both sides is equal. So that is why it's called an equation. Equation word is derived from this word equality. That is one thing. Second thing, an equation normally has one or more variables which are donate, donated by the uh, letters x, y, z or a, b, c or l, m, n. So it may have one variable or more than one variable. It has a coefficient and coefficient is a number which is multiplied to the variable. It will always appear before the variable. So here, 4 is the coefficient, x is the variable and it may have one or more constants. Constants are those numbers whose value does not change. Here 1 and 6 are the constant. So it is in this equation, the variable is appearing only in one side. But there could be situations where the variable may be on in both sides. For example, 2x plus 1 is 4 minus x. So here, there is one variable in the left side and same variable is also appearing on the right side. This is a linear equation in one variable. Why is it linear equation? Because the power of x, that is the power of the variable is 1. When the power of variables in an equation is 1, it is called degree is 1. So it is a linear equation. For example, 2x plus 3y is 4. This is a linear equation in two variables. The very power of this is 1 and power of this variable is also 1. 3x plus y minus z is 8, 4. This is a linear equation in three variables. The power of each variable is 1. This is linear equation in one variable. This is linear equation in one variable where the variable is appearing on both sides, left side also and right side also. This is a linear equation in two variables and this is a three variables. If the degree is two or three, it becomes a equation with higher degree. For example, two x square plus one is equal to zero. This is a quadratic equation because the power or the degree of variable is 2. a cube plus a square plus a is equal to 1. Here, the highest power of the variable is 3. So, it is a cubic equation. So, today we learn how to solve a linear equation in one variable. Now, in a linear equation, you can carry out same mathematical operation on both sides and the equality will be maintained. For example, here if I add, add 2 on both sides. So I am adding 2 on both sides. 4x plus 1 plus 2 is equal to 6 plus 2. Adding 2 on both sides. The equality will be maintained the balance of the equation will not be disturbed. Uh, supposing I was to subtract, subtract 2 from both sides, even then the balance of the equation will not be disturbed. The equality will be maintained. Or if I was to multiply both sides by the same number, 
लेट से मल्टीप्लाई बोथ साइड्स बाय थ्री सो इट बिकम्स थ्री इंटू फोर एक्स प्लस वन इंटू सिक्स इंटू थ्री आई एम मल्टीप्लाइंग बोथ साइड्स बाय थ्री इवन नाउ द बैलेंस इज मेंटेन्ड द इक्वेलिटी इज मेंटेन्ड supposing i was to divide both sides by 3 divide both sides by 3 4x plus 1 divided by 3 6 divided by 3 so you can carry out same mathematical operation on both sides you can add same number you can subtract same number you can multiply both sides by the same number you can divide both sides by the same number the balance will be maintained the balance will not be disturbed or we can transpose transpose a term from one side to other now here you have to keep in mind one very important thing for example here i was to transport one to this side i am transporting one from left side to right side now it will become minus if it was being added here it will be subtracted here if it was being subtracted it will be added let us say 2x minus 1 is 6 now if i shift 1 to this side 2x is equal to 6 plus 1 it was being subtracted here it will be added here this is very important and students often make a mistake while transposing the terms when you transport the term if it is being added on one side it will be subtracted on the other side if it is being subtracted on one side it will be added to the other side for example we can now let us say this equation for x plus 2 is equal to 1 minus x here we can transport this x to this side for x plus x plus 2 is equal to 1 it was being subtracted here it will be added here now i can transport 2 to this side for x plus x is equal to 1 minus 2 because it was being added here it will be subtracted on the other side so you can transpose a term from one side to other side the only thing that you have to take care of is that if it is being added on one side it will be subtracted on the other side if it is being subtracted on one side it will be added to the other side and you can transport all terms from one side to other side this is left hand side and this is right hand side you can transport all items here there then you will not change the uh, the uh, operation 1 minus x is equal to 4x plus 2 the complete item has been shifted to left side the complete term has been shifted to the right side here we are not changing the signs plus will remain plus minus will remain minus because we are shifting all terms from one side to the other side if we are shifting one item or one term or two terms out of three then you will change the signs if all the terms are being shifted from one side to other side then you will not change the signs now what is the meaning of solving an equation every equation is true for one value of the variable in the case of linear equation quadratic equation it will be two values cubic equations it will be three values in a linear equation this equation will be true for one value of the x so we have to find that value of the x which will satisfy 
the equation. So, how do we do it? Our attempt will be that all terms which contain variable, they should come on one side and all terms which do not contain variable, that means which are constant, they are shifted to the other side. Now, here there is only one term which has x. So, it will remain here. This is a constant and this is a constant. We will shift it to this side. 4x 10 minus 2. Is, we will write here transposing to to right hand side. Why are we doing it? We want to find the value of x and this for this we will have to follow one or two steps. So in the first step what we have done is we have brought all constant to one side. It was being added here, it will be subtracted here. Therefore, 4x, we put an arrow here. That means we are coming from this step to this step is equal to a. Now we want to value, want to find the value of x. Here it is 4x. 4x means 4 into x. Okay. So we will divide both sides by 4. So, you can write here dividing both sides by 4. Why we are dividing by 4? We have to remove this coefficient because 4x divided by 4 means 4 into 4, 4 divided by 4 into x. 4 divided by 4 is 1. So, 1x is x. Normally, we do not write coefficient 1. We always write coefficient other than 1. If there is no coefficient, we assume it is 1. So, 4x divided by 4 is x and a divided by 2 is uh, 4 is 2. So, this is the value of x which will satisfy this equation. So, this is the solution. So, we can even verify whether our answer is right or wrong. How do we do it? We take the left hand side of the equation which is 4x plus 2 and we put the value of x that we found, we will put that value here, 4 into 2 plus 2. This is the value that we found, 8 plus 2 is equal to 10. This is equal to right hand side. This is right hand side. So, value of this side when x is 2 comes to 10, which is equal to the value of right hand side. That means the value of both sides is same. That means they are equal. Therefore, x is equal to 2 is the right answer. Okay. In the next video, I will tell you how to solve equations when you have variable on both sides or when there are fractions in the equation. So, if you like my video, please share it with your friends. And do like my, uh, do subscribe my channel. Thank you.